Yo, welcome to the New Level Podcast. I'm your host, Askew Fitness, and this podcast was created to help men who are ready to self-improve with women, motivation, accountability, confidence, and consistency. So if you're ready to self-improve, this podcast is for you. Let's get it. Yo, welcome into the New Level Podcast. I'm your host, Askew Fitness, or in other words, you can just call me Coach J, guys. In today's episode of the New Level Podcast, we're going to be talking about why your life isn't getting better, okay? My purpose of making this video is because a lot of us feel stuck, okay? I feel stuck sometimes, and this is really aimed towards my guys who feel stuck in life where they're not growing, where they feel like they're working, but they're not anywhere near where they want to be in their lifetime period, okay? Because I've been through these moments. I've definitely still go through these moments and we're all going to go through these moments. And it's, it's important to realize like certain mental aspects, um, certain perspectives and certain strategies that you can do to actually elevate you off of this feeling of why you're not, why your life isn't getting better, okay? Um, so I wrote down a few notes that I want to discuss and talk about in today's podcast. But before we get into it, if you're listening to this, watching this, my fault. Watching this on YouTube, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. If you're listening to this podcast on any podcast platform, make sure that you screenshot this podcast episode if you got any type of value from it and you tag me in it when you post it on your Facebook and Instagram story. If you're watching this on live Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, y'all tap in and at any given moment that y'all have a question or a topic request, make sure that you just drop it in the comment section because I read all the comments at the end of the podcast. Okay. But nevertheless, guys, nevertheless, Let's get into today's podcast, all right? So first things first, guys, when you when your life isn't getting better, when you feel stuck, when you're not seeing yourself improve, you may be in the same spot as you were last year. And what I mean by last year is the beginning of this year because it's damn near the end of this year, man. It's almost 2022, you know what I'm saying? Everybody in this world is going to start, start talking about how they want to change their lives and you know what I'm saying? How they going to, oh, 2022 is the year for them and 2021 wasn't the year for them and whatever. You know what I'm saying? Bad things happen every year. Good things happen every year. No cap. Let's get our, let's already get that off, off the, you know what I'm saying? Let's just go ahead and knock that off the table. All right. The first thing is guys, when you talk about a better life, you got to understand. And I want you all to understand that having a better life is subject to the individual. Okay. So what I consider a better life, you may not, you may not take it as a better life, right? What you take as a better life, I might not take as a better life. So you got to really just focus on yourself, first of all, when it comes down to having your life become better. What's important to you? Where do you want to get in life? Where I want to go may not be where you want to go. So I can't tell you, oh, you're not living a better life because you're not doing what I'm doing. I will never do that. But everybody has goals and it's important to recognize that. And so if you're not where you are, want where you want to be in your life, the problem is, you in your perspective on where you want to get to, you're just not there. All right. So it's subject to the individual. A better life is subject to the individual. Number two, guys, is in my past, right, high school, um, my college career, I felt that, you know, I was always trying to fit in. Right. And, and this was one of the things that was always holding me back when it came down to, you know, my life getting better, me actually accomplishing things that I I specifically wanted to accomplish, not not things that people wanted me to do or to have for me, but things that I wanted to do. I was afraid to act out on it. Right. Things that were so, you know what I'm saying? Things that people did. I wanted to fit in. Things that, you know, trends that went on, you know, I know in my culture, um, wearing Jordans is a big thing. There's nothing wrong with nice things. But growing up, man, like my parents didn't buy me expensive shoes. I didn't have it bad. I didn't struggle, you know, growing up. But I know that, you know, if I wanted something expensive to fit in, maybe a, a piece of jewelry or, you know, Nike clothing and all that, like my parents did not give me everything I wanted. And I'm not complaining about that. But I'm just saying, like, as a kid, I feel like a lot of us and as a young adult, a lot of us try to fit in with these trends to make us feel like our life is getting better, right? And that's who I was before I realized my worth. That's who I was before I started actually going for what I wanted out of life. Because honestly, guys, these exterior things, they're, they're not making your life better. They're making you feel better in the moment. And that's just quick gratification, man. No cap. All right. The second thing, guys, the second reason why your life doesn't seem like it's getting better is you're not doing what most people don't want to do, okay? 
Now, this is a deeper topic, and I'm going to dive in a little bit on this, because honestly, as I was doing my morning affirmations this morning, as I was driving on my way to the gym, as I was waking up, I didn't feel like doing any of that. I felt like just laying in the bed. I have to realize nine times out of 10, every time that I do these things, guys, because a lot of a lot of people think that, you know, um, people who are, are people who work out on daily on a daily or people who are influencers, we always feel motivated to, you know, do <laughs> that <laughs> wake up early, do everything that we do every single day and we're motivated by it. But that's not the truth. The truth is. I realize that I'm doing something that most people don't want to do. I realize that most people aren't happy. I realize that most people aren't living the life that they want to live. So I'm going to do the opposite of them. It doesn't mean, okay, I'm going to copy them and do the opposite. It means, oh, you're lazy? Well, let me be energetic. Oh, you're not motivated? Let me find a reason why. Oh, you don't want to get up early? Let me get up early. Oh, you're not going to the gym and you're not happy about your body? Let me go to the gym and work on myself so I don't feel like you do. Because honestly, so many people feel miserable and then they want to be around people who make them feel comfortable in their complaints. This is why so many people will complain and then look for sympathy. I don't want sympathy from anybody. I'm not even wanting sympathy for myself. And see, this is what you need to apply to yourself in order for your life to get better. You need to look at yourself in the reflection and tell yourself, if I'm not doing this and most, if, if I'm doing this and most people are doing it, you're doing something wrong, bro. There is more unsuccessful people. There is more unhappy people. There are people, there are more people in this world who aren't loving what they do in their life, who aren't where they are. There's more people in this world who aren't where they are in life, where they want to be in life, than there is people who are in this world who are doing what they want to do in life, who are who are having that better life that we talked about, who are accomplishing their goals. Most people don't accomplish their goals, bro. Most people don't have a better life. Most people want more out of life. We all do. And if you're not there yet, you got to realize that you got to do a different action in, in order for you to get where you want to go. So waking up early might make you feel, damn, like it might hit hard. But you got to realize that most people in this world, they let that take control of them. I don't want that to take control of me. I don't want to look back at my life and be like, oh, well, I remember the good old days. Nah, these are the good old days. Shit, you ain't even promised tomorrow. What you talking about good old days? Like, you, like, bro, it's, that's not a way to look at life. Y'all got to change y'all, y'all perspective up. If you're not moving, moving forward in life, you need to put forward the action. All that talking stuff, all that planning, and especially for my people who got New Year's resolutions, fuck a New Year's resolutions. I'm going to tell y'all straight up. Y'all choose one day out the whole year to make y'all goals and then to start it? If you want to get started on something, start right now. You don't know if you're going to make it till next year. We have people who died this year who thought they was going to make it this year to the next year. You know what I'm saying? So what are you doing really with your time? You over here waiting for a moment, waiting for a sign. Your sign is in you, bro. You want something, go get that shit. But the problem with most people, including the old me, was that I got comfortable doing what most people did. I wanted to fit in, and so I was copying what most people do in order to get what they have, and doing that just had me doing what they were doing, and the whole time they weren't even happy with their life. See, I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm not afraid to brag about that. I ain't going to brag about certain things, but I I'm happy in my life. I feel like I'm getting better. And see, the thing is, when you copy after somebody who is doing better in their life and actually progressing and completing their goals, completing their goals, what's going to happen is once you start to copy those people, you're going to realize, okay, he's really happy. What does he do? He applies discipline. Okay, he's really happy. He got to where he wanted. What did he do? He didn't do what most people did. Y'all boys got to start realizing that people will buy things, they will get things for themselves, say things to themselves, and say things to other people just to make their life seem better than what it is. And that reverts right back to my old comment to where I said in high school, I wanted the freshest clothes. I wanted all this Nike this, Nike that, Jordans. Bro, I bought fake Jordans in high school. No cap. I bought fake Jordans in high school to feel like I fit in. And they still called me out. Bro, those fake Jordans. Okay, damn, what do I do? <laughs> what, what do I do? You know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas not even, y'all not even happy, bro. Most people in this world not even happy. That's why they buy so many things just to make themselves feel good. That's, that's it. I tell my guys in my community all the time, I'm like, bro, I don't need to have name brand this and that. This jacket, I, I feel like I look good in it. It makes me happy. 
I paid like $15 for this jacket. I'm not paying $50, $60, $70 for a Nike jacket to make me feel happy. You know what makes me feel happy? You know what makes my life better? Me putting in the work. I know I can get a Nike jacket, but guess what? I ain't got to get it for me to feel better. I know I can progress in life, but getting Jordans or getting some type of symbolism of of, of a materialistic item is not going to make my life better. It's going to make me feel good in the moment, but in the long run, you right back into the loop. A lot of y'all have questions. How do you get consistent in the gym? Bro, once you get in the gym and you start taking care of yourself, you're going to get addicted to the feeling. I don't even work out for muscles no more. I work out because I know it's going to energize my day and just make me feel better. I love beating the sun in the morning. What I mean by that is when I wake up and I go to the gym and I eat my breakfast, I don't want to see the sun. Because most people wake up with the sun. I don't want to see no sunrise. When I see the sunrise, I want to be walking out the gym already feeling accomplished more than more than what most people feel like in this world. Th that's it. That gives me that feeling of life is better. It's the simple things in life, man. Y'all got to start reali realizing that. Like, don't don't make it complicated. Don't overcomplicate it. For real. All right. And the last thing, guys, of why your life isn't getting better is because, like, I, you know, it kind of ties in with everything I just said. I kind of went on a rant. But that's because I'm passionate about what I say, man. But the last thing, guys, is to actually follow the people you want to be like. You'll get your answers quicker. A lot of us feel like when we are working on a better life, we got to struggle. We got to feel the struggle. We got to feel like we down bad just to get up. You don't have to because you automatically going to have those feelings anyways. <laughs> you feel me? So what you got to do is ask the right people. Guys, a lot of a lot of you not. For years, I was asking people on Instagram who were doing what I was doing. I was asking them questions. They were doing something or they got to a certain goal. I asked them questions till this day. I asked them questions. I asked them questions because guess what? I know I'm going to have hard times anyways. I know I'm going to have hard times anyways, but why put myself through harder times when I can just ask them, I'm going to go through hard times, but I'm moving in the right direction. You feel me? Like you, if you're going to copy somebody, copy the right person. This don't mean me. Don't, this don't mean that you want to become them, but this means you want to be your own version. You see somebody enjoying life. You see somebody not worried about gas prices. That's, that's one of my biggest things. I open up to y'all. That's one of my biggest things. I don't want to be the ter type of person in the future. You know what I'm saying? When I got my own everything, I don't want to be the type. Oh, bro, get gas prices up 30 percent, 30 cent, bro. Bro, that shouldn't even, bro. Money, bro. I'm telling y'all, bro. Money is abundant. Once you change that mindset, bro, money is abundant. They keep on printing more, bro. People pay people to pay people to pay people, bro. So money ain't going to run out. You feel me? But being around certain people, asking people certain questions and actually realizing like what makes your life better, it's not money. It's the things that you recognize that you do, that you put in the work for in order for you to get in a certain mindset. That's what makes your life better. Not buying shit. That's not what makes your life better. What makes your life better is putting in the work and changing your mindset. All right, so I'll go over the four things that I had to switch um, from who I was to transform to who I am today in order for my life to feel like it's getting better. And like I said, your life getting better is subject to the individual. You may think I'm doing bad in life based off where you want to be. I may think you you doing bad in life based off of where I want to be. It's subject to the individual. Don't compare your goals to mine. My goals are for me. Your goals are for you. All right, that is the first step. All right. A better life is subject to the individual. Can not nobody tell you oh, where you want to be is a bad place? Because if you really want to be there, you want to get there and it's going to make you happy. That's number one. Number two, stop trying to fit in. That was one of my biggest things that I struggled with ever in my life. Fitting in high school, wanted to fit in. Even in my beginning years of college, I wanted to fit in. I wanted to try to act like other folks. I wanted to look like other folks, not, you know, physically, but like dress like them, talk like them, walk like them. Bro, I'm me. That's what makes me stick out. That's what makes you stick out. And if you want to get somewhere in life, you can't be like everybody else. Because like I said, most people aren't successful. Most people aren't happy. Most people don't have that better life they want. So if they don't have it, why are you trying to replicate them? Be you. That's what makes you stand out. Number three, you're doing what most people, I mean, my fault. You're not doing what most people don't want to do. You want to, most people, oh, I love my bed. Oh, I don't see how you get up three, four o'clock in the morning. Well, that's exactly why your ass is staying in the same spot because you're not doing what most people don't want to do. You're not. You, 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 you're too comfortable. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we were taught certain things, but damn, bro, like you got to do something different. If you want your cake to taste sweeter, you got to put more sugar in it. Why are you complaining about the food and you not adding a new ingredient? That's a bar. That's a bro. That's a bar. If y'all didn't get anything else away from this, <laughs> this podcast, man, if you want your cake to taste sweeter, no homo. If you want your food to taste better, you got to add some more seasoning. You got to add some more salt, whatever you got to add. You got to add a new ingredient, bro. You feel me? If you don't add a new ingredient, you keep on adding what you already had. It's not going to it's not going to turn out any different. No cap. And that's how your life works. And number four, guys, is follow the people that you actually want to be like to get answers quicker. I can't stress this enough. Can't explain this enough because my life totally changed. I've been on the grind, whatever. I'm not here to flex to talk about how long I grind, but I started my journey being a fitness uh, content creator um, probably about four Three and a half, four years ago now. And, you know, there was ups and downs and everything. But, like, just asking the right people changed my life forever. And that happened this year. And I realized I ain't got to struggle. I ain't got to struggle to get where I want to go. As much as I have to struggle. You know what I'm saying? Like, just asking them the right the right questions to the right people is definitely going to help you out. But that's all I wanted to say in today's podcast, man. I hope y'all boys got value from this podcast. If you're watching this on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe. If you're listening to this on any podcast platform, make sure that you screenshot this podcast. If you got any value from it, you screenshot it, you post it on your Facebook or Instagram story, tag me in it at Ask you Fitness so I know you got value. And if you're watching this on Instagram Live, Facebook Live, TikTok Live, you know what we do, man. We keep grinding. We keep getting 1% better each and every single day. All right, I'm out.